May 31st, Queenship of Our Lady. The Queenship of Our Lady is supernatural in character because she is the first and the highest of the creatures of God. She is not the first in order of nature, for the angels are more than she. An angel is a pure spirit, and therefore more than a human creature. But she is the first creature in the order of grace that is she received incomparably more graces than the angels the graces the angels received are subordinate to the graces our lady received she is also the first of all women the first of all men is our lord jesus christ the first of women is our lady this alone would be enough to give her the right to queenship our lady is the first of creatures because she is the mother of god no one has or can have a union with the most holy trinity as close as hers she is the most beloved daughter of the eternal father the most admirable mother of the eternal word and the most faithful spouse of the holy ghost further she is queen because god placed the government of all things in her hands god does not do any supernatural thing on earth that does not pass through her all the prayers that are raised to heaven pass through her all the graces that come from god to earth are at her request if all heaven were to implore something without her intercession it would not be attained and if she alone among the citizens of heaven would ask for something she would obtain all she asked for now then these concepts that correspond to her heavenly queenship which is her highest title must correspond also to her earthly queenship what is this earthly queenship of our lady all of human society should be organized in such a way that everything is according to her will by the fact that she is queen all those who govern should follow her will st louis of france used to call himself god's captain in france he considered himself an executor of the will of god even though he was one of the most powerful monarchs of his time he understood his mission well because actually this is what each king should be the same should apply to our lady kings and rulers should be her captains what is the will of our lady since she does not appear in mystical ways to communicate with us how can we know her will above all things the will of our lady lies in the catholic doctrine and in obedience to the catholic church as she always was in essence this is the will of our lady because her will coincides with the will of god obedience to the catholic church is therefore the clearest and most indisputable component of the will of our lady there is however another factor which is the voice of grace in us grace indicates to each person a way to follow it in order to achieve god's plan for him or her this is what is commonly called the vocation of a person the vocation is the call of god the call of our lady to fulfill that pre-established plan that they have for each one of us therefore to correspond to one's vocation is to accomplish the will of our lady how should one correspond to his or her vocation it is to do everything that one can to preserve the deposit of catholic doctrine as it was always taught by holy mother church now in modern times this deposit of faith morals liturgy and canon law has been systematically attacked by enemies of the church so obedience to one's vocation implies the defense of this deposit from the enemies who attack it therefore to be faithful to the call of our lady we must fight against her enemies in our days